let's go back and retest this so let's press enter and uh, we've got undefined index HTTP referrer okay so we've run into another problem and this is just simply that we haven't actually been referred uh, by any particular page so we can test uh, the functionality of this uh, by just removing this line here just temporarily let's refresh the page so let's reinitiate that okay so you can see that nothing has actually happened um, so there's some error in this um, image check function so we need to double check this as well so let's go ahead back to our image.funk.php and just double check uh, everything here so we'll take a moment to check everything so if that's equal to zero let's just uh, it's not a trip it's not a triple equals uh, let's see if that makes a difference okay yeah so it's uh, a double equals comparison uh, we're not using the um, triple equals uh, here so that's redirecting me back to albums.php um, that's just uh, you know essentially we have uh, failed this check here so we know now that we have the correct security in place to ensure that the uh, the image is not deleted if it doesn't belong to a particular user okay so now what we want to do is actually create the delete image function and obviously this takes into account the image ID and uh, the function is down here and we can start to develop this so uh, the first thing we want to do is uh, again sanitize the data so we recreate the image ID variable and we cast the image ID to an int because obviously it's a user defined variable and can be changed in the URL bar okay so now what we want to do is we want to select um, some data from the database in order to actually delete the physical files themselves then what we'll do is we'll perform a query uh, just below this to delete it from the database so the first thing we're doing is actually deleting the file itself and to do this we need to create a new query so I'm going to call this image query and using the MySQL query function uh, we write the following query so we want to select the album ID we also want to select the extension as well and we're selecting this from images and the condition is where the image ID is equal to image ID so we're just feeding this variable into the query here um, and also where the user ID is equal to and again we just add in the session at the end of here and that will give us double protection so we use the um, image check uh, query as well as doing this here uh, just to ensure that the user cannot delete images that don't belong to them okay so the image query is complete we now need to take a result from this so image result this is equal to mysql fetch a sock which is obviously uh, fetching an associative array and that's of the image query okay so now what we actually want to do is uh, take some data from this result here and the data that we need to take is the album ID so let's go ahead and say album ID that's equal to image result and then inside of here um, obviously image result is now an array we want to take the album ID and we can copy and paste this line down and do the same thing for the image extension uh, so let's go ahead and change this variable name to image extension and this here is the field ext remember we've saved this in our database um, as ext let's just go over to the images table we've got ext and we're also returning the album ID now the reason we're returning the album ID and the image extension is uh, so we can work out the file name that we need to delete now remember the file name is uh, located within the album um, ID as a folder so that's just album ID and we have the image ID as the file name though the image name and then we obviously need to uh, reference the image extension as well so we're now going to use the unlink function which actually deletes a file in PHP now where are we deleting we're deleting within the uploads directory we then need to delete from the album ID that we've uh, specified we've taken from the database then we have a forward slash and obviously we need to uh, use the image ID here and then we need to append a full stop on so we can append a full stop like that and then the image extension so let's just run over what this uh, is doing we're deleting from upload forward slash and the album name as a folder forward slash the image name and then the extension 
So essentially, if you were to upload a file uh, or upload an image into a directory, say directory 61, this would be uploads forward slash 61 forward slash then the image name, it could be 9000 for example, and then dot the extension. So this could be JPG uh, or GIF for example. Okay, so now we also need to unlink uh, the um, thumbnail as well. So we just copy and paste that and then just add the thumbs directory on there. We can leave the rest as it is because remember we store uh, a folder inside the thumbs directory as well. So now that we've deleted the actual files, we need to now create a query that's going to delete this from the database. So we simply say delete from images where image ID is equal to image ID and user ID is equal to and the user that is currently logged in. So now that we've done this, uh, we have su successfully retrieved the album ID and extension um, from this image ID that we've specified. We've then uh, created these into their own variables, we've deleted the physical files and then we've deleted the record from the database. So now all we need to do is open up our browser and test this functionality. Let's go over to holiday and click on this. Now we've got these two files here. Uh, one, if you look at the bottom of the screen, it's 9273.jpg and located within folder 61. And this is 9272.jpg. Now if I was to delete this, for example, it's then going to uh, call the um, delete image function and delete this image ID. We're going to make the relevant checks which we've already discussed in the delete images function and then that should delete the image physically as well as from the database. So we can keep an eye on the database as well. Um, when we delete them these records should be deleted and let's just go over to our files and um, we should also be deleting um, let's just star in there. We should also be deleting uh, these images as well and also in thumbs, deleting these images as well. So let's go ahead and test this. Let's open up our browser and go over to our page. Let's say we want to delete this. We click it. Now what's happened is we've called the um, image function, the delete image function, and we've been returned back to the current page that we were viewing, so the album that we were currently viewing. Now let's go ahead to our database table and click browse. You can see that this has been deleted from the database. Let's also go over to our files and check if the files themselves have been deleted. If we look inside here, we can see that we're only left with one image. We've deleted the other file. And then the same with thumbs, we've deleted the other image as well. So now that we've created the delete image function, we're successfully able to actually delete images from our albums. And obviously when we go over to our albums link, uh, the um, images count is updated um, accordingly. So this was actually the last thing we needed to do. Uh, we've now given the user the ability to create an album. Uh, once they've created the album, they can then view the list of albums that they've actually created. They can edit the albums. They can also delete the albums if they wish. Um, they can also then view the album, um, obviously upload images to an album they want to. And then they can also go ahead and delete the images inside of the albums. And because this was the last step, we have now successfully created an image uploading website.